Bob Fryer here in the Apex Studio. I want to thank our sponsors, Repairify and uh, Great Water 360 Auto Care. We've got Daniel Tristan right here. He's the Director of International at uh, Tracer Products. Daniel, good to see you. Nice to meet you. Thank and you. I, I'm st I, I stare at the booth. You're, uh, my eyeline is right at OAC's 100 booth. So it's 100 years. You're celebrating 100 years. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, you're not are. old enough, clearly. <laughs> you weren't there for the whole thing. No, not all of it. But I have learned a tremendous amount from some of the other members of the Overseas Automotive Council, and in fact, I'm also chairman of the Overseas Automotive Council. Well, and we're, do you wear a lot of hats? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Okay. And we're very proud of the fact that we've been around 100 years. What is it that OAC does? Uh, we are a group of suppliers, and we talk amongst uh, the entire organization, we talk about the issues affecting the aftermarket uh, on the international side of the business. Oh, okay. And so if anybody within your business is trying to look at exports, is trying to do international, mm -hmm. then they should be a member of MEMA's OAC, Overseas Automotive Council. Okay. Uh, what we're really looking at is how the world is changing today. Okay. So if you think about it, 100 years ago, cars didn't have air conditioning. Right. And today, that's everywhere, it's ubiquitous, never mind the fact that in electric vehicles, an air conditioner is a lot more critical to the system. My company, for example, finds leaks inside the air conditioning system so that that system never fails because you got to keep the battery cool. It's not only about passenger comfort. My, so my, I always thought that, it, it, I guess it's a combustible engine, uh, that you would turn off your AC to keep your engine cool, but not so in electric? No, that's not the case in electric anymore. Okay. That battery needs to stay cool or get warmed up and it is that system that is performing that function. Okay. Now, that is one change in the business, and we know that electrification is coming. Another major change is the decoupling of the global market. Five, six, seven years ago, we had a lot more trade with China. Factories were humming along, and we were all manufacturing in China. Now, you're really beginning to hear about nearshoring and friendshoring. The world is changing, and I think that within our industry, and on a global macro scale, we are at an inflection point in, in history. And these inflection points are being discussed and addressed at the Overseas Automotive Council. In fact, on February 1st and 2nd, we're having a global summit, a wonderful agenda, two-day event in Hollywood Beach, Florida. Mm -hmm. And we would love to see more people participate right. because I think traditionally, a hundred years ago, yeah. the United States led the automotive market mm -hmm. on a global scale. Mm -hmm. Today, you're seeing a lot more innovation. You're seeing a lot of changes that are being pushed by our friends in Europe, by China, by other markets that aren't necessarily happening here. I just want to ask you again about something you said before about nearshoring and friendshoring. Sure. Um, are you saying that we're becoming more isolationists and, and, and not nearly as re like reaching out to China as much? and that we're depending on just our allies and our friends, our typical geopolitical friends, for the parts that we need, is that what we're saying? Yeah, we're saying okay. that it is not, uh, we're not flipping a switch, of course you can't just shut down the factory in no. China and move right, it, right. but we are looking to manufacture closer to home, gotcha. where things are maybe a little bit more stable, uh, more safe, mm -hmm. less tariffs, so that is happening, and yeah. that shift is coming. Who knows what the political world is going to tell us. That's exactly right. Us, yeah. That's exactly right. All right, Daniel, thank you so much, my friend. Good to have you here. Thank you. All it's right. a pleasure. And make sure as you're walking around Apex 23, you're taking those photos, you're taking those videos, and you're uploading them to your favorite social media site. But always use that hashtag, uh, Apex 23. I'm Bob Fryer in the Apex Studio.